Hi guys, I'm Sarika and I'm back with another video today and it's about the UK tax system. To those who don't know me and watching my videos for the first time, I'm Sarika and I make videos from my personal and professional experience to help everyone who are planning to move to the UK either for study or work. So if you'd like to watch my regular videos, you can subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. And if you're finding some useful information in this video, make sure to smash that like button. So in today's video, I'm going to cover the income tax deduction on a salary which you earn in one financial year. So let's first start with what is the difference between gross and net pay? So gross pay is the income you receive before any taxes and deductions have been taken out. So your annual gross pay is what's often referred to as your annual salary. Net pay is what's left over after deductions like income tax and national insurance have been taken off. It's what often referred to as your home pay. From the example which is shown on your screen, this is the typical pay slip used in the UK. So basically there are two deductions, number one income tax and number two as national insurance. So we will cover both deductions in today's video. But before we do a deep dive, let's understand who are tax authorities of UK. So they are called HMRC, which stands for Her Majesty's Revenue Customs. They are the UK's tax authorities. They are the people that take care of the tax for the whole country. So the tax that we pay, that money goes towards the government and the government uses that money to run the country's economy like welfare, health, state pensions, education, defense, public order, transport, business, industry, and many more. Now let's understand how much income tax and national insurance you should pay. So as an employee, you pay income tax and national insurance on your wages through the payee system. It's important to check you have the right tax code and are paying the right amount. Now let's talk about the first deduction, which is income tax rates and bans. You can earn a certain amount of income each year called your personal allowance before you need to pay any income tax. Whenever your employer pays you, you get your tax deducted straight away. So you don't have to do anything as it automatically comes out from your salary. This table shows the tax rates you pay in each band if you have a standard personal allowance of 12,570 pounds and above. Income tax bands are different if you live in Scotland. So I'm covering only the UK in this video. As shown in the table on your screen, as an employee, you pay 0% tax on earnings up to 12,570 for 2021 and 2022 financial year. And then you pay 20% on anything you earn between 12,571 and 50,270. Now, you will pay 40% income tax on earnings between 50,200 and 71 to 150,000. And if you earn anything above 150,000 and over, you pay 45% tax. Let's understand with an example now. Say if you earn 52,000 per year, the tax you have to pay on this is 8,232 per year. If you look at the breakdown from your screen, you pay nothing on the first 12,570. You have to pay 20% on the next 37,700, which is 7,540. And 40% on the next 1,730, which is 690. Now, second deduction is national insurance. National insurance contributions are a tax on earnings paid by employees and employers and help to build your entitlement to certain state benefits such as state pension, maternity allowance, the NHS, unemployment benefits and sickness and disability allowances. Unlike income tax, national insurance is not an annual tax. It applies to your pay each pay period, which might be monthly, weekly or some other period depending on your employee's arrangement. This means if you earn extra in one month, you will pay extra national insurance, but you won't be able to claim the extra back even if your pay is lower during the other months of the tax year. You begin paying national insurance once you earn more than £184 a week. National insurance rate 
you pay depends on how much you earn. So you pay 12% of your weekly earnings if you earn between 184 and 967 pounds. You pay 2% of your weekly earnings if you earn above 967 pounds. Now let me give an example of annual calculation assuming you're earning the same every month. If you're earning 9.5k less than or equal to, you will have to pay zero national insurance. Any earning between 9.5k to 50k, you will have to pay 12% and 9 on your salary income. Any earnings above 50k, you will have to pay 2% and 9 on your salary income. Let's understand NI deduction on annual salary of 52,000 per year. You pay nothing on first 9,500. Any earning between 9,500 and 50,000, you have to pay 12%, which is 4,860. Any earning more than 50,000, which in this case is 2,000, you will have to pay 2% NI, which is 40 in this case. So the total NI deduction is 4,900 approx. But the good news is you don't have to calculate the tax and NI contribution manually as there are different websites links available on the Google which will help you calculate and find the figures as shown on your screen. As you can see from the screen, if your gross income is 52,000 per year, your taxable income will be 39,430 and the tax breakdown is 8,232. The national insurance will be 4,918.84. So your 2021 take home will be 38,849.16. And your monthly will be 3,237.43. And you can calculate your weekly and daily on a similar basis. However, this is an approx calculation and the numbers may vary based on different circumstances. Now, let's look at few of the Q&A. So number one. I earn less than 12.5k, why is my tax deducted? So if you work in the UK and you earn less than 12.5, you might still see tax deducted on your pay slips. But do not worry, you will get this money back at the end of the tax year, which is in April as tax returns. Even if you earn a taxable income, you could still get tax return at the end of the tax year because you have paid too much tax throughout the financial year. Now, number two, is there any way I can save tax on my salary income by making investment? So the answer is no, but if you're earning money via investment like stocks, you can save tax by investing via an ISA account. So stocks and dividends are a separate topic. And if you wish to learn more about it, do let me know in the comment section below. Question three and the last question. My partner is not working. Can I claim any tax rebate? So the answer is yes, you can claim marriage allowance. To benefit as a couple, you need to earn less than your partner and have an income of 12.57 or less. Your partner's income must be between 12.501 and 50.270. For Scotland, it's 43.662 for you to be eligible. So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope I was able to help you understand the UK tax system. If there's anything which you didn't understand, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section. I'll aim to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching the video till the end and I'll see you soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.